News. This is the Canberra Weekend on 2 Double C, and it's fantastic to have you along. And get your bird questions ready, because for the next little while, we'll be speaking with a man who is fluent in bird speak. Ornithology is the game, and he joins us on the line now, Neil Hermes. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Josh. How are you going on this beautiful summer's day? This beautiful 18-degree summer's day. Isn't it fantastic? <laughs> It is. Now, this first one comes as no surprise, uh, but a recent poll conducted in the UK has discovered that 91% of participants reported better mental health and well-being after hearing birds sing. But you've maintained this all along, haven't you, Neil? Oh, it's, it's, we've, all, we've all known that for a long time, but mm. they're doing research into this now. Um, it, it was because they were doing a big uh, bird survey last weekend in the UK which is their winter count of birds, and they were encouraging people to count. Do you know that in the UK, on that one day, 700,000 bird people record the birds in their garden, 700,000 poms uh, in their gardens record the birds for that day for the for the annual bird bird count. It's amazing. Right, so it's not like normal surveys where they take a handful of people and then they go, oh, well, based on the five people we spoke to, we can, you know, apply that to the whole population and say 91%. Yeah, yeah, no, no. no. Sorry, so I meant what, what the, the, the uh, survey that they, about the health was being done because they were about to do this big um, bird survey the following oh, week. right. And 7,000 people participated. And, yes. And I think, I think the uh, scientific survey about the humans was just suggesting that those 700,000 people were all going to get the benefit mm. of that uh, time spent bird watching. Very good. So more time out spent bird watching and less time spent not bird watching, in other words. Yeah, and the one <laughs> Yeah, and one of the interesting things is that, the, that 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 report came out of the UK, where the uh, where the president of the big bird watching club there is a doctor, and he happens to also be um, a significant person in the in the uh, health service over there. And he was he was making the d- direct linear um, a comparison between people's mental health and the amount of time they spent in natural areas and doing sort of things pastimes that took them out into places where they could relax and and significantly listen to, watch nature and listen to bird calls. Good stuff. Now, look, we always love it when animals or wildlife exhibit human-like behaviour, but there's a cockatoo in Adelaide, it's been reported, that's been suffering from vertigo, of all things. Now, is this usual? Yeah, Yeah, look, uh, it's a bit of a sad story, really, because I suspect the bird was injured. Right. Um, But what it does uh, emphasise in that story is, if you do find a bird that's behaving in an odd sort of way... Um, the, there is a, there is a solution to. Uh, they may have a serious problem. They may have a serious injury. But often, if they're just contained in a warm and and dark place for uh, twenty four hours, they will overcome whatever it is that, that's been. Uh, you know, maybe they've been involved in a a, a light coll- collision with a vehicle where they've been buffeted by it and they're just disoriented for a few hours, or they have vertigo. Whatever the thing about it is, you do find a bird that's behaving oddly. Pop it in a box, keep it in the dark, and uh, and often that's all that's needed for the bird to just recover and be able to fly off and and and, and take to the wild again. Very good. So, um, and by all accounts, this cockatoo down in Adelaide, he's recovering very well. Um, yeah, no, it, I, it, it was looking rather dire for a little bit, but now it looks as though yeah. he is now on the mend. So we're very very happy yeah. about that. So, yeah, good stuff. That, that, that 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 was a that was a good result with that uh, with that uh, cockatoo. <laughs> mm, but unfortunately, not always the case. Not always the case. And while we're talking about cockatoos, I'm actually in the bush as we speak, right. uh, Josh, this morning, and I have in my view at the moment a pair of beautiful gang gang cockatoos. Oh, it's just, lovely. I, I mean, they're just sitting quietly, feeding in this tree in front of me. Yeah. And I wish uh, I could send some pictures through to you, but I. I, I don't have any way of doing that, but they, it is just so beautiful to watch these birds this morning quietly feeding. He, the male's got his eye on me. He knows I'm watching him, yep. but it is lovely to be out watching these parrots today. Yeah, no, that's that sounds absolutely terrific. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, so out there improving your mental health, in other words. Absolutely. <laughs> Outstanding. Look, it's always a fascinating time when we delve into the life of our bird life. And, look, if you have got any questions for Neil, please give us a call on 6255 1206.